When you think of vampires, what do you think of? Probably Dracula or Romania, right? Maybe Twilight? Well, the first ever vampire recorded in history was right here in this little town with a population of 300. Kringa, Croatia. Mr. Ewer Alilovic was a real man here. He was a tall, strong, harsh man who got the nickname Grando because of his enormous stature. He would walk around with a sheep on one shoulder and a cat on the other, and he and his cat would eat the entire sheep in one day. He was huge. He was so harsh, his two children ran away, and no one in the town liked him but his wife. He died in 1656, and this is where the first ever vampire story ever came from. The story goes, when anyone passed, they would stick a nail through the individual's tongue to make sure they were dead before burial, but this did not happen to Grando. And this is the biggest reason why they believed he was the culprit in some strange events that took place immediately after his death. For 16 years after his funeral, people would get knocks on their doors in the middle of the night, which was a sign that someone in the house that received the knocks would pass away the next day. He would also show up in the middle of the night to have his way with his wife, if you get what I'm saying, and she described him as a grinning creature. So, the priest of the town, sick and tired of the fear they were living in, gathered everyone in the graveyard, dug up his casket, and found him perfectly preserved with a smile on his face, and they decided to cut off his head, and while they were cutting off his head, he started screaming at the top of his lungs. But a less magical version is that he was a big harsh man that nobody liked, so they murdered him. And since murders aren't allowed in the graveyard, they either buried him under the road to the church or in the well outside the church. <laughs> 